the total covid-19 cases have just reached over a million rising from 100000 to 1 million 300000 in under a month we are becoming familiar with exponential growth curves like this and this and while memes like these seem apt in this situation to lighten the mood it is imperative that we take a closer look at how and why viruses spread so fast and what we can do to save india from this terrible disease to visualize this exponential growth we need a simulation this box can represent a city a community or even an entire country the green dots represent the healthy population while the red dots represent the infected people the inhabitants move around and interact with various people if even one person gets infected then the whole community is at risk as you can see one person can infect multiple people but now those people can go on to infect even more the spread starts slow but soon the entire population can get infected we can understand how infectious a disease is using the r not or basic reproductive number this predicts how many additional people one person could get sick in a population with no immunity to the disease and r not smaller than 1 means the outbreak will die out while greater than 1 is always exponential covid-19 has an r not between 2 and 3 this explains why the number of cases has grown so rapidly Now that we've understood how virus can spread so fast, let's see what measures can be implemented to prevent or slow down the pandemic. One of the strategies that has been deployed is selective lockdown, as was the case in Italy and the United States. The intent here is to isolate affected regions from non-affected regions. Let's see if this works. The line represents the lockdown while the small gap represents the flow of people who can break the quarantine. As you can see, even if one person crosses over to the other side, the entire population is compromised. And therefore, if a lockdown is implemented, we need to make sure it's not partial but as absolute as possible. Another thing to consider is that if people keep interacting at the same rate as before, then many people can still be infected despite a lockdown so to ensure this doesn't happen we need to socially distance ourselves and avoid contact with other people the next simulation shows social distancing and how it can reduce the spread by a very large factor if people decide to stay home and not interact with too many people if you compare this to the rate of spread in the first simulation it's not difficult to understand why the government is stressing on social distancing once the number of cases increase to a certain extent a lockdown can be implemented this ensures that the infected people remain in one place and medical care can reach them easily this is the strategy that india has been deploying total lockdown isolation from the rest of the world social distancing and sub quarantine zones such as parts of dharavi It is evident by now that social distancing and lockdowns reduce the spread of the disease. Now let's take a look at how social distancing can also help reduce the death rate. This simulation shows the recovery and death rates across two scenarios. One where social distancing is maintained and one where it is not. In any country including India, the healthcare infrastructure is limited and can only support a limited number of people at a time. So if a large number of people are infected at the same time as is in the first scenario then there will be a shortage of resources to cure or support so many people this can be seen in many countries like US Italy and Spain where there has been a shortage of ventilators this results in more deaths however if less number of people are infected at a time like in scenario 2 then the healthcare infrastructure can provide support to all of them and many more can recover even if the total number of overall cases remains the same this strategy of reduced spread and rapid response helps in flattening the curve and saving lives i hope this video helps all of you to visualize the spread and control of a virus let us make sure that we comply with government strategy 
keep social distance stay at home and give all the support we can to healthcare providers morale as well as monetary